Hey guys, Casey here, um, and welcome to this week's video. So today, I thought I would revisit something that I did about 11 months ago, and I haven't done one of these in a long time, and I thought I would do a Lush haul. Um, my room has smelled amazing since I got these in the other day. It's not one, but two bags full of new stuff. And it's the new kind of um, fall slash seasonal stuff coming back out. There is two repeats this year that I had last year and I'm still going to talk through those a little bit. Um, but most of it is all brand new. Um, like I said, I think I got like 10 things. And there's only two that are um, repeated from last year that you've seen briefly. Briefly, because I haven't done a huge haul in almost a year. So I thought it was time. And also, I'm trying a new lip shade today. And it's the Rimmel uh, Kate Moss 107. It's a bit darker. So let me know what you think. Um, I'm liking it so far. So I, uh, I have the Lush book here, and I can talk you guys through what I got. So let's go. Hit the smaller bag first. And also, little disclaimer here, um, once again, I am not partnered with Lush. I am not sponsored by them. I genuinely love their products. And I genuinely love almost everything I get there. And I love that it is cruelty free, handmade, and it's vegan, vegetarian. And it says handmade, fresh cosmetics, 100% vegetarian. And then on the other side, it says fighting animal testing and ethical buying. So let's do bag number one. Now, I wish that they had. I wish that they had um, what they do in other stores, which is they kind of tell you what it's called instead of me having to go through the book. But anyways, um, I do know this one is called Mind the Ballistics, and according to the book, it is it is a um, it is a bath bomb, and it says, "Watch this fizzer tumble and turn in the tub." creating colorful swirls of a citrusy sweet fragrance. This is very, very, very citrusy. Um, I can smell it from here. But it's called Nevermind the Ballistics. And it is, ooh, it's kind of melty. And it's this, it has the yellow sign and a pink sign. And the other side is some pink intermittent. This side here smells very citrusy, and this side smells um, kind of berry-like. And this side is much coarser, and this is more smooth. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with the bath bomb, but this is never mind the ballistics. It smells amazing. Um, citrus, I feel like, is very good if you want to take a nice, refreshing bath, because um, citrus is a quite refreshing scent and feel. So this is definitely one that if you're just looking for like a fresh feeling, I would go with this one because um, it is citrus based. Um, there are other ones that are more warm that I feel like are more relaxing, but this is definitely um, a very refreshing scent. Once again, it's uh, never mind the ballistics. The next one I got is called, is the Autumn Leaf. And it says, Relax among the changing colors of autumn and the earthy scent of freshly cut grass. And I will say that is exactly what this item smells like. And if I can turn it around, it just broke off all over. It does smell like grass and leaves. I really, really enjoy that. Um, I also feel like it kind of reminds me of going to like Hollister or Abercrombie. Um, I, I feel like it's, it's very overwhelming. It does smell like grass though. This side smells more like grass. This side smells more like 
freshness, but it is amazing. So I feel like this, like the book said, will be more of a relaxing and calming bath um, because it has much more of a calming scent. And once again, you just plop this in to the bath. You don't have to crumble. You don't have to let it foam or anything. It's a bath leaf. So you just throw it in and I am super duper excited to use it. Um, I saw some of these in another video and then immediately went online and was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea Lush had put all this stuff out. So I had to go. The next bath bomb, um, and this is not a particularly new one. It is um, a Christmassy one, but that's okay. And I can't find it. But it's Lord of Misrule. This smells like tree. If you ever have had a real Christmas tree, those of you who celebrate Christmas, if you've ever had a real Christmas tree, this is exactly what this bath bomb smells like. It is a little overwhelming, but it is definitely, it's definitely like a pine, pine woody scent. Like if you've ever had like a Fraser fir tree that's pine, this is what it smells like. This is exactly what they were able to get in this bath bomb and I'm digging it. I'm really liking it. Um, this one was out last year. I did not get it. I always wanted to, but it's more on the pricey side. Um, and this year I've um, obviously prepared kind of for this in the coming days I was gonna do this. Um, but this one's amazing. This one I feel like I probably won't use until it's actually Christmas, because it's a Christmas scent. And it will be out until, until a little bit after Christmas. It says in the book, it says up until Christmas that this will be out. Whereas the more fall ones will probably retire come like full winter time. Um, but that one I probably will not use. My hands smell like every bath bomb. Um, I probably will not use that particular one until um, Christmas-ish time. So that's great. Um, anyways, I, I love it. <laughs> the next bath bomb is another one that was out last year, but I didn't get, and it's called Mistletoe, and it says, grab your man, grab your main squeeze, and indulge in a serious purple and, wow, I cannot read. Grab your main squeeze, indulge in serene purple waters and arousing jasmine perfume. And it does smell like jasmine. And it's a really pretty bath bomb. This is, um, mistletoe. It's green and pink. And it smells like jasmine, which is actually, I feel, a summer scent. But this is an autumn scent. I mean, it's a Christmas, it's mistletoe. I've never smelled mistletoe, maybe mistletoe smells like this, um, but it's jasmine, it's very fresh scent, so kind of like the never mind the ballistics, I feel like it's definitely a scent that you would want to use if you're wanting to feel fresh and not so much like sleepy and cozy, um, but it's the best. Those are all the bath bombs I have which um, were quite a lot, but that was the smaller of the two bags. Um, I have a bunch of bubble stuff in the bigger bag, which I will definitely be talking you guys through. Um, so I guess we should just start the bigger of the bag. Oh, and also kudos to the people at my Lush for giving me a sample of the Sleepy Lotion um, because it smells amazing. It smells amazing and also um, thank you, thank you, thank you to the Lush store at Old Orchard because you guys are amazing. The woman who helped me couldn't have been sweeter, couldn't have been nicer and I actually am really looking forward to going back in and see if she's there 
because she was very personal and like talked to me and helped me pick these things and um, kudos to them. Okay, let's get going. Um, the first one I want to talk to talk to you guys about is a bubble bar and it's called Sparkling Red Slippers and it says there's no place like the bath when it's full of glimmering carnation scented bubbles and yes you guessed it it's a ruby slipper like Wizard of Oz now I love Wizard of Oz so I saw this and I was immediately like hello there it is very glittery and if you don't like a big mess in the bath glitter might not be for you um also the bubble bars tend to melt a little bit in your hands but that's this slipper and it does smell like carnations like look at my fingers they're totally glitterized with red glitter um it does smell like full carnations which is kind of cool um I didn't expect that to smell that good or to like it, but I do, and I'm so excited to use it. I love bubble baths. I love mixing bubble baths with the um, bath bombs. You can do bubble baths on their own, but I do like mixing it. I like kind of like doctoring scents and figuring out like what's cool, what's different. This one is a new one, and it is called Santasaurus, and it says, run under your tap for toffee scented bubbles fit for a dinosaur. There's a dinosaur bubble wand, guys. A dinosaur Santa bubble wand called Santasaurus. And isn't he adorable? He smells amazing. I don't really smell toffee. Maybe a little bit. But isn't he so cute? Rawr! Bath dinosaur. Can they swim? We'll find out. Um, these are some of my favorite Lush products. I love the bubble spar sticks or the bubble wands. Um, just because it's so easy, you just kind of go like this and swirl it around the bath, or you can just hold it like that under the faucet. But he's a little dinosaur. He's a little dinosaur. And he's adorable and he smells amazing. So I will be using him right right quick. Um, I'll probably use him tonight because I can. Next one is also a new one and it's called the Jester and it says for your entertainment jump into the masses of cheery citrus bubbles and calming orange waters. And it does smell very orange. But look how cute! And it's got a bell. He does smell like high C. That's it. I was wondering what he smelled like all day yesterday. He smells like freaking high C. Like the orange high C. Juice boxes. Um, he's super cute. He's a little jester. And he smells delicious. And once again, it's a citrus scent. It's very orangey. So I feel like it's really good if you want a calming bath over like a relaxing bath. Um, so he's amazing. So, um, I saved are the repeats from last year. Um, and this one is called, the. it says it's the magic of Christmas, conjure some bubbles. Create toasty, Clove and almond scented magic with this spicy wand because it's a cinnamon stick wand. And it's, this is the reed piece last year. Once again, it's very glittery. You can see all the glitter and it's floating around. It also has a belt. This is a cinnamon stick and this is clove. And I love this wand. I think I used it legit on Christmas Eve because it's so toasty and warm and relaxing. Once again, you can either hold it like this under the water or stir it, and then you stir the stick a little bit. Um, I would not stir the stick until this is pretty much done because the stick will kind of go bye-bye. Um, but this is, once again, it's the magic of Christmas. So this is a Christmas one, and this will be out till um, Christmas or a little bit after the new year. Um, but this is absolutely one of my favorites. I'm so excited. I love the smell of clove. Um, 
it's actually the clothes are actually stuck right on the bubble wand um, and I'm so excited I love it once again if you're looking for a really warm cozy bath this is the wand for you the last blush item I got is called magic wand and it says make a bubbly wish your wish for candy sweet snow fairy scented bubbles is our command. Yay! It has a little bubble. It's very glittery and it smells very, very sweet. If you do not like sweet, this will not be the wand for you, the bubble bar for you. It smells kind of sicking, sickingly sweet. But I was obsessed with it last year. I couldn't stop using it. I think I rebought this like two times when it was out. But I'm obsessed with this bubbler. It smells great. It smells really, really good. Just kind of sicking, sickingly sweet. So this is once again, this is a really sweet one. So if you're looking for more of a refreshing um, bath, that's for you. That is my Lush haul. I am so excited I was able to do this. Um, I haven't done it in a really long time and I was so excited to get to do it and I was so ready to do it. Um, I haven't had a big lush splurge in a long time and I haven't gotten to fill my little lush basket of goodies. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for videos every week. Um, if you want to know what I got, I leave all the names of the bubble bath stuff in the description box. So go check it out. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do videos every week. And thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend and beginning of your week. Bye.